Hello and welcome back to part 31, the Dungeon of Nihubok. So we've been doing these three quests uh, simultaneously with each other. We're back on the tavern level, about to give the faucet to this guy that needed it, the magical one. That looks like it might be another quest. I'll check that out in a sec. <laughs> so many. So we're going to go hand this in to wherever he is. Oh, he's over here. There you go. We have the magic faucet. Let me see. Ah, oh, perfect. This is terrific. My wife will be able to bathe every day now. Bathing sucks. Makes your boots get harder. That's why you take them off before you go in. That's dumb. Boots keep your feet dry. This means you keep them on to go in. A barbarian trying logic. Truly fascinating. <laughs> well, I am. Um, anyways, thanks for the faucet. Here's the gold to cover your expenses. Okay, no one leveled up yet. Let's check out what's going on over here with this guy on the floor. Look now, what's this crowd for? Huh, seems like some guy is just lying on the ground. If this peasant is hurt, Euclid compels us to assist him. I'll supervise you from some distance. No need for me to taint my hands with this plebeian epidermis. Oh, God, my career is f Come on now, lad. Maybe you could change your path and become a second-class chamber pot service engineer or temp bidet washer. <laughs> you mind telling us what happened? It's horrible. I was carrying the inn's revenue to the co-op vaults when some group of thieves ambushed me. That's horrible. Those guys stop at nothing. It's the third time this happened. This time they'll beat me up with a nailed plank. Oh, gods, oh, gods. Third strike. Your number is up all right. See, but maybe the guards could help you out somehow? Whoa, uh, we're understaffed right now, and we have some issues with our RADA. And it's out of my jurisdiction. What? We're talking about bandits hiding inside the dungeon, aren't we? Yes, but the <laughs> guards can't intervene outside this building unless we catch offenders red-handed, or by a judiciary requisition from the co-op. And if we warn the co-op, I'll be executed for not sacrificing myself to defend the gold. Holy cow, that's a hairy situation. We're more suited to field work. Adventurers? The best. So, you'll get the gold back? Well, us? Uh, I mean, gold and battle. It's honorable and it rocks. Help me out and I will reward you handsomely. They can't have run very far. Stealing back what was stolen would be a highly ethical and a lucrative endeavor. Uh, we'll think about it. <laughs> oh, okay. Another, another side quest. What about this person here? Excuse me. I'm looking for some adventurers willing to go on a well-paid mission in this dungeon. So it says well-paid, we listen. Huh, funny how you're all ears whenever there's a prospect of gold in the air. Go up and die. Uh, <laughs> sorry, you were saying? The thing is, <clears throat> this quest is not exactly illegal. Legality is a rather abstract concept to nobles like me. Right, right. <clears throat> Let's say I want to borrow something. Borrowing is not stealing, right? <laughs> Indeed, private property as a concept is not always relevant. Anyways, what did you want to borrow, and from who? Well, first you must know I'm a cook for a famous tavern in Glarg. You didn't ask for your life story. <laughs> Cut to the point. My clients have been badgering me, asking me to cook some bear and ale stew, but I can't even get close to the flavor of the one they cook here. <laughs> Roast some bear with some ale sauce on it and boo. That's what I thought. But it also involves some rare spices. The cook won't give or sell the recipe to me, in spite of my requests. So... So, we kill the cook and splatter his insides? No, no, I was thinking someone could copy the recipe. Discreetly. I will reward you handsomely. Well, I guess we could borrow this for you. Good, good. I'll be waiting here with your gold. Hmm. Sounds pretty easy, but is anything truly easy in this game? In here? Hello, the chef. Another house inspection demailed. I already tell you, the meat is not rotten. It's gamey. This is different. You seem like a great cook. What's your specialty? Why, do you like chopped liver? <laughs> My specialty is soup au trente légumes. But this place is filled with savage. They only think about bears, too. Are you Bergerac? Amateur of cuisine? Hakla yum yum tibon. Oh, bears, too, rocks! This, on the surface, a simple dish, but 
Everyone has a little secret. My secret recipe is renounced throughout the land of Fang. Your world frog has the secret of steel. <laughs> and I have no secrets. Because you're too dumb to remember one. <laughs> <laughs> you talking mop. <laughs> Wait, what's that supposed to mean? Well then, let's hope you never lose your memory. I've given some stuff to that, you know. What with all the magic stuff going on around here. So, I've hidden a copy of the recipe. You better not forget your hiding place. No chance. It's where food makes its last stop. <laughs> anyway, back to work. But now, you leave. Uh, that must be the toilet. Yeah, it is the toilet. There's actually a quest marker that tells me. Very kind of them. Very kind indeed. Normally, it's give you this random blue circle, and you have to try and figure out the proximity of where your quest is. But that was much better. Kiss my grits, a scroll. Good. It's best for wiping. <laughs> There's some recipe written on it. Now Burke's Bear and Dale stew. Ah, great. Let's go get our reward. <laughs> he says he has to go boom boom. As long as he doesn't use the scroll. Okay, <laughs> this, this quest seems a bit too easy. There must be some sort of catch. Ah, fellas, so, did you get it? Yes, we did. Here. Let me see. Ah, terrific. Oh, cardamom and horseradish. Macerated in an old boot made of moss leg leather. I'd never have figured that out. That's all fine and dandy, but now it's time to cough up. Indeed. Here. Thanks again. <laughs> I'm very skeptical. The barbarian leveled up. Ooh. The wizard is leveled Ooh. up. Ooh. Still very skeptical. That quest was way too easy. And some of the quests are really, really tough. Right, let's have a look at these skill trees quickly. Oh, new skills as well. Okay, so, Barbarian, let's have a look. What have we got to work with here? Improves the Barbarian's standard melee attacks. Targets now have a 20% chance of being stunned. That's not too bad. Barbarian cannot be weakened when he loses health points. Small over. He gains 5 impact as long as he is below 50% HP. Barbarian gains 1% crit. I actually quite like the uh, idea of stunning things on my auto attacks. Yeah. Uh, I am stronger. No, I'm gonna go for that. All right, what have we got over here? I set up the forces targets ally to act first next round and raise their damage. I lose damage by doing that. A brutal shot. Pa a powerful shot dealing heavy damage. That's not too bad. Only 30% damage is quite high. Um, what have we got here? This kick does no damage at all, but CC's in the late game. What about this one? A sword swings followed by a terrifying battle cry. It scares your target. Hmm. I'll test it out. I, I don't think I'm going to like it. I'll probably end up respecting out of it. But for now, I'm going to give it a test. See how it, see how it does. I should always try everything once. Okay, so his precision is around 70, which is really nice. I might as well... <laughs> I'm tempted to keep pumping it to 80, to be fair, to so he doesn't ever miss. Uh... Can he do some HP? Yeah, we're working some HP actually. He seems to uh, be on the front lines quite a lot with the ogre, and he's also got less HP in the ogre than the dwarf. But well, dwarf's got a lot of mitigation. Yeah, I'll give him HP for now. See how that works. Um, who else needs to level up? Wizardess. Okay, wizardess time. Ooh, new skills again. Nice. So here we got. Proves resists his standard range attack. Her targets now have 50% chance of burning and 20% chance of being frozen. Problem with these two things is I don't really ever 
attack with her because her accuracy is so bad. I can't really see anything else here that I'd like. This is okay. Um, dodge is... Yeah, dodge is always good. I'll take the dodge. I just, yeah, I, don't, I just don't see myself using these that much. Hmm. Right, so out of these... What we got? That killer bunny does quite a lot of damage. 150%. No point taking those as usual. I tend to try out the CC of the fireball, but the fireball does quite a lot of damage. Right, I'm gonna take the CC for now. Once again, if I don't like it, I'm gonna respec out of it. So let's see how it does. Um, pump intelligence again. The precision is so low. Yeah, let's keep pumping intelligence. It increases her damage, and she's only got like one ability that I need to hit anyway. Ooh, a witness. Pardon me, but are you the adventurers looking for the inn's robbers? No, we're their cousins, and my name's Betty. Oh, please excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> no, that's weird. Why? Did you see something? Yes, a bunch of ominous characters rambling about splitting the loot next to the pond. They went that way. Ah, well, thanks a lot. My pleasure, Lady Betty. <laughs> this sounds like a trap. Can I open this up? Oh, I thought open then. I was like, oh. First time I've ever seen that door open. Ten for you, ten more for me. Wait a sec. It's the third time you get your ten, and we didn't. <coughs> it's uh, arithmetic. Yeah, right. Don't you go thinking you can money bugger us or pull the fool over our eyes. Arithmetic is when your fingers hurt. What? No, that's arthritis. Yeah, well, the Lolling Stone got us no dough. <laughs> Don't try and hoodwink us with your flowery words. Beg your pardon, we're looking for the inn's earnings? No way, it's enough of a clusterfuck already. We can't even count. Yeah, even our boss is being duplicitous towards ourselves. Don't listen to them. They are paid. Wait, who the hell are you? I am a noblewoman, and these folk are my escort. Surrender at once. <laughs> to me, my faithful who steal from the rich to give to me, go down fighting on my behalf. Uh, to give to us, you mean? Uh, I knew he was trying to double gross us. Later, later, charge! Okay, I had a f idea this would end up in some sort of random battle. Well, let's see what they got. Oh, well, these guys are quite high level. They're going to be a lot more scarier than, um, yeah, a lot more scarier than what I've been facing before. I think they're two levels beh above me, or even one level above me. Right, okay, let's uh, think about this strategically. <laughs> that word. Oh, they had to be split as well, that's, that's a shame. I wanted to buff them all up. So what I'll do is... <clears throat> yeah, I think that should be good enough. Fight. Oh, have no scalp. Okay, I buff everyone up with the oh, defensive right. buff. And this turn. Okay, they get to go really fast. Very fair. I've only got to move one character so far. Okay, Barbarian's turn. I might as well wait till everyone's a bit more gathered until I start buffing things up. Right, let's see what I can kill instead. These guys are pretty far away. I could run in there and start smacking them. But I'm not sure if that's a good idea or not. 
<laughs> I'm extremely tempted there. No, I'll wait till they come to me. Sorry, mates, but you're about to die. Hmm. Okay, he should be able to survive quite a few more hits. So, Priestess's turn. I'm actually going to move her into a position where she can, like, do a fairly okay buff. Oh, I think I messed that up already. Yes, I did. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I knew, like, it should have been there. I knew it. Okay, I'm just going to um, make her overwatch. It's my turn. <laughs> oh, that's painful. Gonna go for the dwarf. Bursting oh, damage. I've seen better. I've seen better. <laughs> Another 13 damage? Ah! I laugh at your 13 Say damage. Huh. Ah. Okay, so he's gonna stealth. <clears throat> Ogre's turn. Can I throw the dwarf? I can actually throw the dwarf in. <laughs> I may have to test this ability for science. I'm throwing him in. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that damage! <laughs> wow! I just was not expecting to do that much damage. Um, I'm quite impressed. I'll move the ogre up a bit, so you can go and support the dwarf in a go, sec. Go. <laughs> this guy's going to be tanky, isn't he? Just need to check his protection out. Nine protection, okay, yeah, he's going to be tanky. Hmm. Need to help the dwarf. <laughs> Kinda just threw him in the deep end there. Yeah, I think I can actually move her like that and hopefully be able to block still hey and get a Waza. Oh. Yeah, I'll go for these guys. One stun, that's not too bad. It's quite a lot of damage there. So. Let's see if I can actually CC this um, troll warrior. I'm pretty sure they've got quite a lot of physical resistance, so I'm not sure this is actually going to work. Yeah, I poisoned him. That's not too bad. It's not great, though. Um, I'll keep him facing that way. Stop the yoga from him being flanked. Okay, so her turn. No one's really low enough yet, but these guys do so much burst damage. I'm actually going to go for this ricochet. 85% chance, and it has a high chance of doing loads of damage. Nice, I got the other guy out as well. I'm extremely happy about that. Extremely happy. I'll position her like that. Okay, Dwarf's turn. <laughs> so I actually uh, respect and grab this ability again, just to pair up the Dwarf throw. <laughs> I just thought it'd be cool. Oh, I can only move one square at a time, that's strange. Hmm, I wonder what that is. Very strange actually, that I can only move one square at a time. Technically, I should be able to move a lot more than that. They have a cave troll. Well, I'm going to tin can. Um, I'm then going to position myself slightly back like this. And hope for the best. Okay. So now, move the ranger up and try and go for stun again on Here this guy. 
That face is gonna go well. Boy, it's done then. Another bomb. Nice. Partial parry, that's what I like to see. It's the barbarian's turn now. <laughs> I can't move. I can try and go for the 79% and it's also, it scares them. Let's see if it works. <laughs> okay. Right, I own turn, pretend that never happened. I'm gonna walk her up nicely actually, just over to here. And then go for a lay on hands. So the barbarian's got constant regen of healing. This is gonna hurt. Dodge. 13 damage. Seventeen. They kind of punish me. They're like, "Hey, I saw you put your character out in the open like that. Let me uh, fix that for you." <laughs> that was a big hit there. Oof. Oof. And the ogre's turns next. Okay, so I'm gonna run my ogre over there. Oh, that's a troll. I mean, is that a troll or is that an ogre? That's a troll. Okay. I'm gonna try and go for the double stun here. I don't think anything's going to CC this troll, though. No, he's just really resistant. He's probably going to one-shot someone here. Oh, I thought he was going to stun me then. I was literally going to be like, oh, no. <laughs> no. I was so scared. You see my eyes. <laughs> okay, I'm going to heal the dwarf because he's going to die otherwise. Um, next one I'll do is move the wizardess to the back a bit more. Here I am. Okay, so it's the feast turn. I'm actually going to go for backstab here because I barely get to use it and it's nice to be able to use your abilities here and there. So a big backstab. Didn't see that one coming, did you? Okay, her turn. Do I need healing? Possibly the ranger. Might be able to take one more hit with the ranger though. So what I'll do is, I'm gonna run her up. Go for a guaranteed kill. She can also use her ability again now. She'll probably die here though, unfortunately. Yeah, that's okay. Two for one. I'll take that trade. Okay, so... I don't get why the dwarf's only moving one square at a time still. I'm not quite sure what's going on. But I'm going to move him. So, it's only 7% chance. He's knocked down, that's nice. Ranger's turn. I can't move away, so I'm just going to have to stand and tank this guy, unfortunately. Yeah, no choice. Ouch. That's a big hit. Okay, with the dwarf and this guy is going to kill the elf probably. Or completely mess up. The dwarf might be right. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. So I can probably go for a big buff for the barbarian. Or I can start killing this ogre properly. 
I'm gonna go for the big buff. Okay, I finally got that off. Okay, Priestess' turn. The elf is extremely low. So is my dwarf, though. Gonna move it to the back here. Kill the elf up to full. She gets a bit of protection from that as well, I think. That should work out quite nicely for her. Unfortunately, I've actually got no more stamina left to do anything else on the ogre for now. This kind of sucks. I think killing this guy's priority. Oh, no. Kind of saw that coming. When the guy like, moved to face me, I was like, oh, no, he's going to do something sneaky. Pain. Okay, now this is teamwork. Uh oh. And boom, like my hook, Dodge, huh? nice. Okay, 72% there. Don't know if I can get much better than that. I'll see if he's actually got magic resistance as well. If this hits. No, he doesn't. Nice. Okay, so he's actually quite susceptible to magic, but he's very resistant to physical. So that's a nice uh, CC there. <clears throat> I'll um, position her next to the uh, priestess. So the priestess gets more astral regeneration. Mm, I can smell the pearls swarming around me. Okay, it's so a priest's turn. I think I'll just go for the guy that's in front. No reason not to. Elf's turn. So I'm a quick look at what I can heal and what I can't heal. So the dwarf's a good target here. I heal him. I'm pretty sure the ogre's in a good position where he's not going to get um, absolutely destroyed. Okay, so she's healed. I'm actually going to move her over to here. So she's slightly off the um, the grid. So to speak, for uh, being hit randomly. Okay, so I got the everyone can be stunned. I might as well. Anyone want to be stunned today? No. Okay. Okay. So I have them facing this way. So they can only flank and hit forwards and not backstab. Okay, Ranger's turn. I think I'm just going to heal the ogre. <laughs> Lots of healing. I'm not really doing anything apart from healing at the moment. Okay, I'm facing forward. Damn it. I hate trolls. Big hit. Looks like he resisted something there. That uh hurt. -huh. I'm gonna have to make them pay by moving out position and going for a massive hit here. All backstabs as well. Here we go. Nice. That's what you get. It's what you get. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I might as well buff everyone. I'll keep it there. Her heal's up next turn. Bomb. Bomb. Oh, okay, Ogre can actually do stuff again now. But is there anything that's actually going to be relevant? Hmm. I'll put him facing like that. I'm going to see if I can get a uh, smack here. Using this to shove him into that guy. Okay, so he, 
He ah, uh, he's immune to being moved. I should remember that from the last time I faced these kind of guys. Okay, so I think he probably has a turn up now. I should probably take that guaranteed kill. I don't want that ogre having another turn. Okay. I'm going to move in for that kill, I think. Yeah, I am. 12 damage is um, pretty weak. Nice, easy kill. Okay, Elf's turn. Uh, <laughs> not a lot I can do here. Can make it difficult though for this guy to run away or move anywhere. So he'll take a smack from hit this, 90% chance. And then if he tries to run, he's gonna take more damage. Flank on the barbarian. Fight four is okay. So if he's got one turn to live, the priestess is gonna raise him though, so that's okay. Yeah, I'll just take a normal shot. I don't want to block the melee paths for everyone else. Okay. Yeah, I'll walk up and um, heal him since he's in my range anyway. I actually thought he was going to go down again straight away. Nice. Very nice. Okay. So, Barbarian's turn. I can't move out taking attack opportunities. I'll take the 94% instead. This guy's just dodging everything. Okay. Keep facing that way. Parry. <laughs> I've got the moves. Okay, August turn. <laughs> I'll just move forward, I guess, and smack him. Okay. So I'm going to be right there. So if I've got any other opportunities to hit a nice wazza. They're slightly out of range, which I've, otherwise I would have gone for that. I think I'll take the 81% and see if it can just finish him. Your magic is shite. Pure, oh. unadulterated shite. <laughs> <You're tall. laughs> it's, uh, it's actually extremely true. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Um... So let's go move there. Fortunately, it's put him in defensive stance, so he's just not going to take much damage anymore, if at all. I mean, he wasn't really taking much damage before that, and now he's just taking even less. Okay. So I'm just going to run over to here and put some pressure on these archers while this guy's still in defensive stance. So 90% chance. Nice. I wish the thief had the elf's movement. He'd be pretty, like, extremely lethal, actually, if he had that kind of movement. Hmm. No, let's go for normal hits. The thief does true damage anyway, so it doesn't actually matter too much for him. Compared to the other people. I'm gonna try and hit the stun as well. 99%, come on. <laughs> okay. 
So we've got who needs healing here? Pretty much just the ranger as usual. Yeah, I'll just heal him while I can. Keep her facing that way. Nice dodge. Barbarian's turn. Can I move? I think I can, yeah. Okay. So whose turn's next? This one. <laughs> we really want to see what this terrifying strike does. <laughs> How much damage does he do? Okay. Maybe not enough to kill him. Let's see. So run him over here. Do a terrifying blow, 79% chance, come on. I, I, just, I just wanted to see what it did. That's <laughs> all I asked for. That's all I asked for. Okay, so... Yeah, I can run in behind. Come on. Oh, it's tanky. Okay. Wizardess's turn. Everyone's pretty high on HP. I might as well go for the Wazar over here. No stun. No stun. Ooh. Don't want them to retreat. I need the XP. So I'm actually going to use her to block him as well. Can I hit from there? Yeah, it looks like I can. Yeah, I'm going to go for that. Come on. So I'm going to move it right behind. Does the same damage. Oh, no. No. So we're going to mobilize him. Did, did he just resist that as well? This guy. <laughs> Absolute beast. Okay, Ranger's turn. It's not showing me how I can hit this guy. So I'm just going to move there. 46%? Is that it? Uh, I think he might actually escape. Yeah, he's escaped. Ah, that was unlucky. Very unlucky. Well, that didn't go as expected. Oh, nice. Nice. No one escapes death. <laughs> oh, nice. No one escapes. Sweet. Turned out for the best there, the positioning. Right, so I got gold coins. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's a good belt. I think that's blue. Must be like epic or something, I guess. Agility and precision and slots. Ooh. I think I've already got those. Fluff. Random braces. Fluff. The theory of traps. Or the theory. <laughs> Can't even say it anymore. 
I'm done with bandits. And here's the gold. <laughs> A tidy sum, this in revenue. If you needed proof that the people of the land of Fong are drunkards. Now we take it back to the rightful owner. Or we don't and keep it to ourselves. You've got good advice sometimes, my friend. But that's wrong. How is it wrong to keep gold we took from a bunch of crooks who are the leading cause of cirrhosis in the area? Only a select few are truly fit for handling gold, be it from their birth or their deeds. I've kind of gone for like a good playthrough so far, so I'm just going to give it back. Plus, I love XP. I think we should give it back. It's more heroic. It'll probably get us some bonus XP. <laughs> <laughs> Me and that guy, we think the same. It's like the same person. Right, and with that, that is the end of part 31. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe. See you in part 32. Take care.